Welcome to Wimbledon 2023. We got picked up in the car from IMG House to Wimbledon. Hey guys, I've just arrived into Wimbledon and Centre Court is just behind me. I've got an action-packed day ahead and I hope to take you guys along with me. Check out the draw at Wimbledon, so many amazing matches to come. Hey, I'm here with Kevin. How's it going, Kevin? You're Good, home? good. This is fantastic. I'm loving it, actually. We've got a great day ahead planned and we're going to go watch some matches. So behind me we have the order of play and as you can see some great matches today. Really looking forward to watching some of the tennis. We were just strolling around the grounds going to look at the outdoor tennis courts. As you can see the courts are stunning and here is American Claire Lou and on the next court neighbouring is Brandon Akashima. Fortunately the matches were short-lived as there was a rain delay so therefore the covers had to be pulled very very quickly. As you can see this looked very very heavy and a great work by the ground people. Very unfortunate due to a rain delay, the courts are now covered as you can see behind me. The rain is just about to come in and so we're going to head in, grab some food or drinks and we're probably going to head over to court number one now. So I'll see you guys in a moment. We had an early lunch of fish and chips due to the rain delay. Hey guys, I'm here with Pippa and Pippa is going to interview me. So let me know a little bit more about what we're going to be doing. So we're going to have a very quick interview. I'm going to ask you a few questions about what it's like to be a tennis influencer. And all of this content is going to go on the Wimbledon radio and app. So we broadcast worldwide to hundreds of thousands of people. So uh, watch out. Now I am here with Dylan G. I've just been roving around the grounds and I have bumped into Dylan. He is a tennis coach and a content creator. And he has, very impressively, over 144,000 Instagram followers. Dylan, great to meet you. How are you? Tell me, tell me a little bit about yourself. So a little bit of backstory. I'm a professional Well, and I got involved in social media because I wanted to share what it was like to be a tennis player on the professional stage to help give back to the world around the world. Show my love about tennis. And your Instagram videos are fantastic. You get tons and tons of engagement and it's a fantastic place for aspiring tennis players to look through your content, get some sort of bite-sized tips. What would you say is your very best tip for an aspiring tennis player? I would say to do some love here. Head over heels, tennis nerd, tennis fanatic, you name it. I love the game. I'm very passionate about it. But I'm also making a YouTube video on my day in the life of a to show what it's like to be at the beautiful ground compared to the rest of the world. So you mentioned day in the life of you at Wimbledon. What does a, an average day in the life of you look like? You're doing lots of coaching as well, but I'm very intrigued to know what a day in the life of a tennis influencer looks like. So it all starts in the morning with my preparation. Planning the day, found a YouTube, reading books, listening to podcasts as well. And what I would do is I would write down at least three different tips that I wanted to film that day. And I would dedicate an hour of my day to filming content in general. I hope to bring content to people around the world. Instead of reaching 20 to 30 people, Dylan, I think what you're doing is fantastic. I've seen some of your content. I love it. I take some of your tips on board daily. One final question. We're here at Wimbledon, so I need to ask you. What, what are your predictions? Who's going to win? That's a good question. Djokovic. Ah, yes. Well said. <laughs> I would love to go with Djokovic. Eager. Okay, not the first eager fan we've uh, we've seen today. I think those are very solid predictions. I must say. Thank you so much for talking to us, Dylan, and have a lovely rest of your day. After the interview, I took a stroll to watch the matches on the big screen. So after the rain delay, play is just about to start on the outdoor courts, but I've just kind of, I've just decided to come up to Murray Mound or Henman Hill, you name it. But as you can see, with the screen in the background, a few weeks ago I wasn't here when I was at the Netflix event, but now it's uh, just arrived back. So. Very looking forward to watching some tennis and I hope you guys will enjoy it. What I love about Wimbledon is that you can walk around the ground, you can watch tennis 
from all different aspects. You can even go very close to the courts as well. We then decided to go on to court number one. And as you can see, the location of the seats look really cool because as you can see, we were behind the court. And this is one of my favorite views because when you're looking from just behind the back of the court, you're able to see the action right there and then without having to turn your head from side to side. It honestly feels like a court cool level view when watching the match from behind. It was really cool watching the match as you could tell from the intensity of the players what was going on and how they were feeling. You could also see that they were producing amazing shots. And I also love the Hawkeye. It's really cool to see the interactive feature of what Hawkeye can bring to tennis. I enjoyed the serve plus one patterns from Laurent. He had a big serve into the body followed by the floor. I've never been in an indoor venue quite like, so this is court number one. And as you can see, it echoes when you hit the ball. Um, it makes a lot of effects. So it sounds like the ball's actually coming faster than it is, but for sure, these guys are absolutely rocketing the ball. Laurent is killing it with the serve and bringing the high energy. Definitely a fan favorite. Uh, it's gonna be a great match ahead. After the third set, we popped outside to watch a little bit of tennis on the big screens. A special thanks to Mophie for the awesome day at Wimbledon. As you can see, I've got my own battery pack with my own special designs. You can't come to Wimbledon if you don't have strawberries and cream. This is an absolute classic. Delicious and tasty. What a lovely treat on a warm summer's day in London, England. The final match on court number one was Sophia Kennan against Coco Golf. This was an absolute thriller of a match. High volume and intensity throughout. And as you can see, this is one of the highlights of the first points that I watched. And following in the match also was a great little bit of variety. As you can see, uh, there's different contrast in the game styles. But Sophia Kennan was a solid baseline and not really giving many unforced errors and making a high percentage of first serves too. Whereas Coco was definitely very dominant from the baseline, really trying to go for her shots. And as you can see, she did make some unforced errors as well, even though she was going for more of her shots. Uh, super happy. Um, it was a So that is my day wrapped up at Wimbledon and it was a great match to finish with Coco's off, unfortunately losing out to Sophia Kennan. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to know anything else about my trip to Wimbledon then please leave a comment down below. And as always be sure to subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you in the next video.